Hey there, welcome back guys. This is going to be a short video on the DJI Avada. If you have the Avada and you've gotten that battery error where it says it's unable to read uh, its uh, maximum capacity, well, this video will help you. Um, without any further ado, let's get started. So we have the Avada here. So there's a couple of caveats that um, may or may, may or may not break the deal for you. One, DJI will cover it as long as the battery is still in warranty. Uh, two, you might be able to fix it by re-flashing uh, the firmware. Um, so anyway, without any further ado, let's see if we can get it worked out. So most likely this is what the arrow say, will, will say. See on the bottom right hand corner, aircraft low power state. Well, you know, you're like, well, what do I do? Um, so basically if you go to status, you can get a full description of it. And it says battery capacity not updated for extended period. Calibration required, discharge battery to less than 10% and let battery sit for 30 minutes. Charge battery fully and let battery sit for another 30 minutes. Install and um, you know, hopefully it's happy trails and you're up in the air again. But that did not work, unfortunately. Um, so basically what I did was I removed the um, motor, not motor, the propeller, I removed one propeller so that I can uh, insert the, you know, insert this thing into the, uh, what you call it? Um, into the computer so we can you know we can give that a shot and see if that works um, hopefully if not then you, what you'll have to do is you will have to put in a support ticket with DJI um, but not all you know not all is lost until we actually give it a try I'm gonna try it again I actually have a support ticket so this will be my last night with the battery um, so I figured, hey, why not make a video? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have this problem. Um, of course, your stuff will load, right? Here's my remote controller thingy. Um, most likely we're gonna lose connection with the goggles, which is fine. Um, and you can actually turn off the O3 air unit so it doesn't overheat, but it's a controlled overheating system because apparently this O3 air unit is in a lot of things. And I hate to say it, but those things tend to overheat much faster. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to just going to bring you guys into the um, other application, which is the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series. Okay, so um, we'll uh, load this up. So this was one suggestion that was recommended by DJI uh, support um, because the the other right, double click it. That's kind of interesting though, because the app is loaded and I don't know if you have Macintosh by default. Um, you can see open applications because they would be in the dock and there'd be a little dot showing that it's there, um, that it's activated. All right, so look, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit refresh and then that's okay. Start update. So basically they had suggested pushing the firmware again and then hopefully at reboot, you would have a totally new battery experience. Um, but that didn't seem to be the case. But you never know. Uh, this might do the trick. It is connected, though. I was going to say, hey, maybe I'll show you some photos in the meantime um, of my flight earlier. Because what I had done was I flew the drone until it was actually less than 10%, which worked out really well. Uh, so the update happened really fast anyway. So now let's just pray. Oh, now it's updating. It actually works so it gets it downloaded and updated because it's pulling it from their server it's not like the firmware is living on there by default there's probably some other firmware in bios um you know that to help them when they get the drone back if they do a, a warranty repair or paid repair but in this case you know as you can see um, it's just updating and we're at 23 percent um but you know who knows maybe maybe i can launch uh one of my applications that'll let me, uh, I wonder if it appeared on the desktop, right? Let's see. Ah, oh, it is. The SD card is there. So I'll be able to show you my last flight, my last maiden voyage um, with my last battery um, today. Hold on, let's see. Put it in this window. And I believe this one is from today. Oh, yeah. This was really nice. The Ivana captures some really cool witted video. Um, and as you can see, I'm doing a nose dive straight in. It dives really well. Um, there's a little bit of a pause, and that's because probably we're doing an update 
while trying to um, see video at the same time. But I mean, I'll, I'll share with you, you guys that information. Um, see, yeah, it says no name. Now I have a no name on my desktop. Um, that could be the default um, SD card uh, by the, the internal. Um, oh, there we go. Internal storage, yeah. <laughs> internal STO, you can't see it, but here I'll bring it over so that you guys can see. See, internal store, internal storage. Um, so, because remember, there's an internal storage and there's your SD card storage on your, uh, oh, it's at 100% on your uh, DJI Avada. All right, so update complete. We'll save that for later. Uh, let me just launch, re I guess we don't have to launch Reflector again. Oh uh, yeah, we should actually, so that we can see what actually happens, right? In the OSD, um, what's that? Oh, that's the remote. It's, it'll go to sleep if it's, um, if it's uh, on for too long. So we're just gonna launch Reflector, okay? So that we can see, uh, whoops, um, because now it actually works. And as if you've seen my previous videos, so many crashes. And there we go, we are done. Um, you can choose however you want to view Reflector. In this case, um, you know, if you have, you could choose from box screen, big screen, um, and you can choose no screen. Uh, in this case, as you can see, it is a big screen. Use goggles. We are using goggles. Let's see. Maybe there's something in there. Oh, I see. Um, probably because if you've ever used the FPV before, you're not going to get anything if you're connected to your computer. So again, I had to take out the propeller. Uh, but now it should be fine. And always put this back in. Ricardo, you know what I'm talking about. I remember I went flying with Ricardo, one of our viewers, and um, he forgot it was on. And thankfully, I had an extra propeller. Um, you always get that warning. And there we go. Let's see. Nope. Battery capacity not updated. So we tried that. I tried the charging. That didn't work. And unfortunately, interface and MC motion. Uh, that's because everything is so close together. You'll get that interference. So this should be, you know, shouldn't be next to the drone. And then that'll go away and then you might get a compass error too if you know everything is just too close together because that's supposed to be on your head um looks like one of the lights oh that i think this light went out um so yeah on that note um maybe we'll turn on another light lights out no that one's dead um having battery issues anyway always keep your batteries charged and they said that this was not an overcharging issue or a um, user error, basically, well, it was sort of a user error. They said, this is what happens if you don't use the batteries for a long time, they need to be recalibrated. And that was the case, I didn't use this battery in a long time. I spent a lot of time with this little guy. I know, sorry, Mr. Avada. And apparently, um, you know, once you activate the batteries with charging them, they're expected to be used a lot. So I would say, balance out the usage of your drones maybe fly this one today that one tomorrow maybe fly this one for this week and that one next week if you have this particular drone because apparently according to dji if you um don't use these batteries all the time you will get that error and um and then you'll have to send it in and thankfully for me this is free um so it's covered under the warranty and these batteries are not uh, cheap they're really expensive and I don't remember paying what I pay I guess that there is a premium on these batteries the price is going up and that could be because um, the DJI Avada 2 is coming out um, I'm not sure but I did not pay what they're asking for on these um, websites um, which is a bummer because um, if you have your batteries keep them take care of them and that's pretty much sums this up anyway I hope this video helped you in better battery management and care when it comes to using them in this case it was use them or lose them and um, if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time